What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're back at you again with another abandoned movie theater. We've done one before and that was pretty pristine. Now we're back in another one and it's very heavily decayed. This place opened in 1979 and it was active up until 2005 and since then it's been decaying quite fast and as you're gonna see there is a bit of mold in here so without further ado we're gonna throw my mask on and we're gonna check this place out. If you guys enjoy leave a thumbs up. As you can see on the roof, we have quite a bit of mold setting in, so that's why I brought my mask. Don't want to breathe any of that stuff in. This is the concession stand where you'd get your popcorn, snacks, and drinks before you're heading into the cinema. Pretty decayed. I love those old light fixtures, they just scream out 1980s and they're still hanging up here, intact, which is pretty rare considering if this was a more popular location, they'd definitely be smashed by local kids but for 17, excuse me, for 15 years this place has been sitting untouched I mean look at these, look at the spider webs all over this nacho machine Oh, look at this. This is um, Madagascar. It's still on the wall. This must have been a promotion right before the place closed down. That's pretty cool. Here we have probably old ticket sales. Pretty vintage considering there's no, uh, there's no computer kiosk system like there is now. Let's take a look behind the counter. Here on the right side, we have more movies showing, and Madagascar is one of them. As well as Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, House of Wax. This place closed down in 2006 or 7, so those movies stand true to the uh, time period. I think it's time to head into some of these theaters, see what they look like. Movie theater number one, House of Wax. Wow, very small theater, very dark too. Okay, so moving along. Oh, look what the look at the title of the movie says here. <laughs> you ass. I gotta check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, so this is a definitely a larger, a larger movie theater. Oh, yeah, this is a lot bigger than the other one. So I might have been Madagascar because that was a huge movie when it came out. So they would want the, you know, the largest, yeah. the largest seating arrangement. It's heavily depleted. Yeah, it's really natural though. Now, no vandalism at all. Yeah. Star Wars. In this theater here. Oh wow, this one is beautiful. The natural light that's coming in here right now oh, yeah. is incredible. So many empty seats. I can only imagine how many people actually sat here and made memories. Okay, so far so good. This has been in three, three theaters so far and this is the best one. I love the natural light that's coming inside of this place. One reason for, for closure of this specific movie theater was that the ceiling was actually sinking. They didn't put enough support in the roof and you know eventually after time the 40 years of being open 30 years it started just deteriorating and they couldn't save it from uh, from staying stable so this is the reason this place closed this theater right here so Chris found the stairs we're gonna go up see if there's any projectors left maybe even movies that'll be pretty cool oh yeah this movie up here that'd be awesome Okay, there are still projectors left. Lucky number 13. This looks pretty vintage. So these are pretty damn vintage because this is actually a real setup. Yeah, they are. Really cool. Look at this lens. I put this on the camera right now. Let me see the lens. Oh wow, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's some expensive glass. I thought the focal, but I can't change it. Also have like a little indicator of uh which theaters are being used, so I guess there's 16 theaters in here. That's a lot. All right, while we're up here, we might as well check out all of them. I'm sure they're all going to be pretty much the same, but we never know if we don't check. Maybe we could find some movie reels. Yeah, we have so we got a bunch of projectors up here. I don't know what this is, but just by looking at it, it looks like maybe you put the reel there. Looks and like you... it rewinds it. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, is this film right here? It yeah, is. a little film strip. I think this is... Oh, you could see a little bit on the, on the film. Yeah, this might be like a practice film. Like, you know, like... Like, no, it's just DreamWorks. Does it? It's a trailer. Trailer of oh, the ring, too. Oh, wow. It's just the... The ring too. Okay. So that would play before the movie starts. That's a trailer, right? Yeah, I mean it's very. There's gonna be like a, a very, like one second of it. Yeah. This looks like a different brand than the other ones because this is a Century projector. I've seen these in a collection of different abandoned theaters that I've done. I'm pretty sure they still use this type to this day. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. There's more film just chilling in here with some Q-tips. <laughs> I don't know why they're there. Maybe to clean the clean the film. Yeah, I'm sure they did. They have this oil. Oh, God. I mean, they'd probably clean. I can't believe you're touching that with my gloves. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see which one it is. It doesn't have a title on it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is the um, the office where all the film is stored. 
Yeah, we have a worker's um, refrigerator here with some mustard and some Caesar dressing. Oh, look. Too fast, too furious. Really? Oh, they only had two room. What's the, is it like number 10 now? Yeah, there's a lot of Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> wow, that's so crazy. That's here. There's DVDs here too. Mr. Deeds. What is it? Darna? Darna Marna? I'm not sure. Don't say a word. Man, this is so many things to look at here. Soul survivors. I mentioned before that this stuff, these could be DVDs, but Chris actually, he actually uh, helped me out. Yeah, so they're actually, they're the track for the movie. So like, on the film rolls, it doesn't have sound. So they would put this in, it would be the digital sound. So to correlate with the so movie. So this is the Born Identity. You put this in. Let me see that. And it's all the sound for it. It's got an eight mile, eight mile trailer on it. That's pretty cool. Everybody thanks Chris. Thank Chris for the information. <laughs> Okay, so we have a very, uh, very decayed room in here. Floors are a little soggy. Got some roof damage above us. Oh, here's a theater that's also decayed. This is a different one than the one we saw before. Alright, we pretty much checked out the entire upstairs area. Pretty much all the same. We got some cool views of some theaters, as well as a bunch of old vintage projectors, which is always cool to see. Always old technology is awesome. And things are always upgrading, so things become obsolete very quickly. It's unique to come in here and see how life was just nearly 15 years ago. So, pretty cool. Let's keep going. If you guys are enjoying it, leave a thumbs up, because I know I am. What did you find over there? Hot dogs. Oh. Yeah, these ads are super old. They probably were stored up here for a while. Oh yeah. There's tickets on the ground. Cool. The, the ring. Rings. The ring too. Hitch. Hitch. I don't know what that one says. They charge nine twenty five though for adults. Oh, there's a bunch. Look. That one's intact right there, that white one. Hitch. They're all hitch. Oh wait. Star Wars. There you go. That one's pretty cool. And we have a vintage uh I guess a register. Pretty cool. They must have just stored this up here when the place closed. I doubt this was being used up until 2007, but maybe. This place did go out of business. Okay, something weird is happening. Chris, please stand on that poster over there. Listen to the sound. I'm not even making this up. Yeah, guys, watch. This, is, this scared the F out of me. Look at, look, what is this? 
What the hell is that? I'm not making this up. There's no soundboard or nothing. Oh. What is that? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. I have no explanation. Looks just like a maintenance room. We have all the sheets and covers for the for the chairs in case they needed to be changed. Oh. I'm sure if we get rid of Office, main office. Ooh, we got a vault. Got a giant vault. Really heavy. Check out the old vintage security system, the old security cameras that are in the wall. I haven't seen these for a very long time. Looks like we're in the employee locker room. We got uh, Rugrats. Blockbuster. This looks like the only only locker with some, some belongings left in it. Just a comb and some mints. Here's all the sales. They would keep tallies on this dry erase board. The promotion, 44 ounce Star Wars cups. And we have one more little office to check out on the top floor. Got a couple old monitors. I'm guessing this could be the security room? They do have some VHS tapes. So that could be video surveillance footage of when this place uh, was operating. Okay, so we're back in the main lobby. We checked out that whole side. Now it's time to pay our attention to the opposite side and see if there's anything else cool in this little place. See what other, see what other uh, movies are playing. Ooh, let's go into the Star Wars theater. I guess they had two of them. Two theaters for Star Wars because it was so popular. There's three movie theaters in this place that was airing Star Wars at the same time. That's crazy. It was very popular. It was a popular movie, yeah. Uh, just another, another normal theater. I guess they just did the last big shebang and then closed the place. Pretty much.
Got some neon still here in this theater. That dates it back pretty far. And as we're moving on, we have another concession stand. It looks like they would be serving more drinks here. In the cabinet right there, we have a Shrek uh, popcorn cup. I remember when I was a kid and I went to go see Shrek, they gave me popcorn in that very same bucket. I haven't seen that in like 10, 15 years. That's so crazy just to see it just tucked away like that. All right, we thought that was the last one, but theaters one, two, and three are uh, tucked away. So that's interesting. Maybe they added this later. I'm waiting for that one with the natural light in it yeah, that we saw upstairs. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Oh wow, this one's really cool. This one's destroyed. They definitely closed theaters one, two, and three way before the rest closed down. There's another theater that's just completely destroyed. It's so it's so crazy how just nature completely destroys everything. It just takes it right back. Like eventually this place, if it doesn't get demolished, nature is gonna make sure that it eventually falls one way or another. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for today's exploration. This place was amazing. A ton of natural decay just I love, it. I love abandoned buildings like this just sitting untouched for decades, decaying naturally. Like this is the prime example of what life without humans would be. To see how different this place is compared to regular movie theaters now. There's so much, there's so much decay, there's so much abandonment. It's just a complete apocalyptic wasteland. And on this channel, and for me, we love that. I love that. So if you guys love that also, leave a thumbs up. This place is amazing to explore. And if you want to explore more places, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, peace out.